Hello everybody and welcome back to another Vada's Venture. Today we are tackling the leaf blower. We're going to try and get started today. We're just going to jump right into the video. Um, this week's joke, what kind of shoes do ninjas wear? Alright you guys, um, we're going to start tearing into this, see if we can get something going. Um, there is fuel in it. This actually looks like the smaller primer bulb over there, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. I'm going to just see if we can get it started. So it ran there for just a second. Um, so I don't think it's a spark issue. I think this is an air filter. Let's see if we can pop this open. It's an air filter of sorts. It's not the greatest of air filters, but it does filter the air. All right, guys, so I want to explain what I just did and um, why I'm really not sure what's going on at the current moment. All right, so let me open this back up. So as you can see, on the top, I know the sun's in the way. There we go. On the top, you have start and run. So in this position right here, it's run. In this position, it's start. So if you see right here, there's a baffle inside. Um, this controls how much air is allowed in the engine at any given time. So right now, you can see it's only that little bit over there. And when I turn it to the run position, it opens up. So it's letting more air in. And deeper in there, there's also another one so that when you squeeze this, it opens pretty much to the run position. And when you let go, it goes to the start position. So what's going on, start, it'll run. It'll run just fine. But as soon as you flip it to the run position and give it all of that extra air, it's not running. It shuts itself off, which means it's not getting the fuel it needs. I may just let it run and heat up and just see what happens. Alright, so that time I started it and run without paying attention and it actually ran. So I'm going to try and start it and start this time and see what happens. Okay, so that time I actually paid attention. I started it and started, and as soon as I switched it to run, it tried to cut out, but I grabbed the throttle, um, and it started running just fine. So now that it's kind of warmed up, you can usually just start it in the run position. So I'm just gonna try and start it in the run position and see if it'll just run at idle. All right, well, <laughs> it's running. I'm going to try and find somewhere to test it out. I might have to go to my neighbor's yard. But yeah, we'll see what happens. Alright you guys, so it's only been a few hours. Um, I let this sit and cool down. Tried to start it again, it wouldn't start. The fuel that's in here that I was running earlier, it's very clear. There wasn't any like bluish tint to it. And when you mix fuel, because these are these don't have, um, you don't change the oil in these small engines like this. Um, so that's why you always put mixed fuel in here. 
I don't think there was mixed fuel in here. So I think it was just running on fuel that was not ready for this engine. So I'm gonna see if I can get this drill to spin this fast enough to try and start it. <clears throat> because when you pull the cord, you've got that spinning. So this is just the other side of the engine. Um, so I'm gonna see if we can get it started off the drill. It is an impact drill, so I don't know if it actually will. It may just hammer because it can't spin it, but we'll see what happens, especially when it hits trying to compress. I may not, so let's just see. It tries, but the hammering effect just kind of messes it up. So I did add some of my mixed fuel to this. I may need to put a few drops of just additive just to get the tank to actually mix. All right, so I'm going to take it for spark. Um, I'm going to use this tool. Uh, you put this on the spark plug, put this on the boot, and this little lighting here flashes as the spark goes through. So yes, there is spark getting to the end then. everybody so right here I ended up just running the leaf blower um, just to try to get the gas to circulate try to get the old stuff out of the lines and um, get it to just mix from the vibrations of the leaf blower actually running and I just left it running like this for a long time I'd pull the trigger um, release the trigger I'd set it's I'd pull the trigger and set its lock so it would just continue to run um, just whatever I could to get one get the engine to heat up two just to get the fuel out of the lines but that's really all I'm doing right here I just didn't want y'all to have to listen to the loud drone of the engine um, without really having much context of what I was doing because I really didn't say anything right here um, so I just wanted to explain it alright guys so yet again it started I do think it's just a fuel issue um, so this yard on the other side of my fence let me get my finger out don't focus on the finger all right so on the other side of this fence is the house um and i mowed their yard um so i texted him because he rents the place and i texted him i said hey you mind if i use your backyard to see if i can run down some of the fuel in this weed eater um, or this leaf blower excuse me because i want to try and run some of this fuel out so we're going to see what we can get done with his yard Alright you guys, so I didn't get the whole yard done. Um, I cleaned on the other side of the deck to the fence. I came around. Um, I tried to get it away from the house pretty much. Um, but I got all that done, all this done. And went through a good bit of fuel. So I'm going to let it cool off. I'll see them tonight. And then we... Hopefully we'll get it started before we leave. If we get it started before we leave, I'm gonna take it to them and just let them know, hey, it was just bad fuel. Yeah, it needs to cool off. It is three o'clock. We have to be there by five. So I'm gonna go inside, get a shower. Hopefully in two hours it'll cool off. I'll let y'all know what happens and I'll slide this into that, slide it into that clip as well, or into this uh, video as well. As also, because it's not mine, I'm gonna to top it up. Fuel in anticipation that it will start later on once it's cooled off. I don't know if y'all can see, but there is a blue pigment, so it is mixed fuel. Let's hope for the best. All right, everybody. So I did end up getting it started. Um, it did cool off, I did get it started. Um, and then I actually took it to their house, set it outside, let it cool off again. And then before I left for the night, I went ahead and started it again. So. It started, I do think it was just bad fuel because like I said before, um, I don't remember if it was this video or last video, but the fuel did not look mixed, um, which is weird because they bought the pre-mixed cans that you can buy. Um, so I'm not real sure what happened there, but 
I got it going off just some fuel so it's all good um, so what kind of shoes do ninjas wear sneakers yes all right um, so that's it for this video again I thank y'all for joining us and I hope y'all enjoyed it and I hope y'all join us next week and I hope y'all have a blessed day